okay uh, so after login we see this window here we have multiple options either we can start with a blank project or we can use some pre-made templates provided by mockups so there is a landing page wireframe already available here there is a flowchart diagram a, also some mobile app wireframes are available admin dashboard wireframe is available so there are two ways now either we can create a new blank project or we can use an existing wireframe and we can modify it for our requirement so this is the first time we are checking out the mockups so let us see what are the other things which are provided by mockups it provides you the option of adding or and creating charts it also provides you the option of creating diagrams the various types of diagrams are available here like uml diagrams and all also it provides you uh, options of creating different types of other visuals where you can create grand chart your activity diagram and all all those things are also provided here our task is to create a website wireframe so let us let's get started click on the blank project here in the blank project this is your dashboard where you can do lot of stuffs here on the left hand side you can see you have the option of inserting the template stencils this is the main part where you can add objects as you can see here as we are going to use the free plan of mockups so we can only add around 200 objects now what are objects if you know about HTML all the tags which we use in our HTML or the elements are nothing but the objects okay same way here whenever we want to create a page we are going to add some tags right and these tags are just drag down tags which, which we can add in our pages so all these tags are nothing but the objects so if I, if we in, if in terms of HTML we can add only 200 HTML tags in overall project okay so this is the limitation of free plan so if anyone wants to upgrade they can upgrade and check out the paid plans here we can see the pages we can add and create one or more pages outline this shows us all the objects which are added in our various pages templates which we have already seen at the start so if any template is uh, selected it will be visible here images if you want to add your specific images in this wireframe you can upload it here icons are also available there are various icons available here material design if you want font awesome, font awesome icon that is also available here comments and all so uh, one more thing is you can also share this uh, design of yours with your friends or with your teammates okay uh, here you can see various diagrams available here which can be added and this is your workspace showing various different properties one more important part is uh, here you can see various other options if you don't want it you can just hide it this is a toggle okay and if you want to view whatever you have created you can click on this slideshow and present button and this is your page which will be visible okay so this is the basic entities which are present in the mockup okay so let's get started and let's get started with a scenario uh, for just consider that your scenario is someone told you to create a login and registration page for students okay and the application is for student to register for some exam and while registering for some exam student need to add some personal details examination details and all so this is our task so let us get started and create a login page so let's try to emulate the google login page uh, i want to take this rectangle we will keep the design very simple now you can see here uh, once i have dragged the rectangle i can move it anywhere you need to use use your mouse okay either use your trackpad or your mouse and you can take it anywhere and it also shows uh, provides you the placement and the width and height also you can select the width and height here xy is the position and width and height is the width and height of the 
rectangle okay so one more other uh, important part of this template is that you can various pages as per your requirement so our goal is to create a wireframe for a website so we are selecting web small if someone wants to create a wireframe for a mobile or simple document they can select whatever size they want so for our for we are taking web small so this is width of 120 180 versus 800 you can see in this scale it starts from here and it goes till here if you want custom you can select custom also and provide your own width and height if you want to give some background color that is also available uh, let us select some lighter okay so this is the background to my page okay so let us select a little bit more lighter okay now let us go back and if you want to uh, zoom out okay that is also present here and undo and redo is also available here okay so let us zoom out a little bit okay fine now as we know um, mostly uh, the login is at the center of the page so let us increase this rectangle let us try to put it at the center okay so maybe it, no, it may not become exact center but let us try okay now let us try it fine so if i say login page the first thing which comes in our mind is a text box right where user can enter the username and password so what is a text box it's nothing but a text input so you just need to drag it and drop it here okay so see uh, as we have zoomed in now let us so this way you can put a text box and if you want to increase the size you can increase it and you can place it wherever you want okay now with the text box comes always a label so let us drag a label and now someone if want to increase the size of label 18 okay and i want to say this label is nothing but a username okay so fine and this placeholder also we can put it as username okay if you want you can increase the size of placeholder also now what is this blue dots here if you want to make this input text box as a rounded text box you can just hold it and drag inwards if you drag it outwards again it will become a square so this way you can create some different type of design okay now with username it comes a password field so put a another placeholder here let us try to so i want it same width and height so i can see 34972 so let's go here and type 34972 so you can see the width and height is same let us add one more label and make it 18 and let's name it as password and the placeholder is also password cool so we are uh, have added username and password now another task is the important part of login page is a login button right a sign in button so let us put a button here uh, let us try to put it center let us try to enlarge it and login or sign in whatever you want to add this is just a wireframe so you can add the login button if you want you can add some links also here which we will see later on uh, let us try to add some icons uh, I think this is the okay one okay so you can see here 
as I am going to add one and one icon as well as object, my free plan is telling me seven out of 200 objects are used right now. Okay, cool. Now, uh, this is a login page, right? So uh, one thing more is remaining is like, let us put the name of the website. So let us drag one heading and just try to increase the font size of heading with 48 that's too big but it's okay so let's give the name as er mock just uh, some random name this is the name of the organization and this is telling user to log in yeah so of course uh, you need to add some login uh, text also, but it's okay. Now let us see this preview of this page. So here you can see the preview. So this is a login page. This is what you can tell to your customers, your clients or with your teammates that this is what we are thinking. This should be the login page. There should be two text box and there should be a login button. So this way you can create a simple login page not a page but a wireframe of login page using mockups